Well, thank you all. It's a great pleasure to be here with Secretary DeVos, Secretary Acosta, and Ivanka. I also want to express my appreciation to Representatives Bradley Byrne, Susan Brooks, Lamar Smith, and Virginia Fox. Thank you all for being here. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for being with us. And uh, Mimi Walters, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Susan. Uh, I want to just talk about leadership. It's the most important issue. We need leadership in this country, women and girls, and for every child in America, represented by all of the incredible students here today. These are great students. Are you all good students? Yes. Everybody has really terrific marks, right? Yes. Well, you're doing fantastically. That's why you're in. I just said before the press came in, what's the name of this office? Oh, you know, every one of them knew that, right? <laughs> As you know, the workplace is changing. We need to create new pathways for all our citizens to get the best jobs. When you get out of school, you want to get great jobs, right? Yes. yes. I've asked Ivanka to lead up the White House efforts on workforce development, and the initiative today is a critical part of that endeavor. Have you seen Ivanka? Do you know Ivanka? She's yes. here somewhere. Yes. Where's Ivanka? There's Ivanka. <laughs> My administration will do everything possible to provide our children, especially kids in underserved areas, with access to high-quality education in science, technology, engineering, and math. You're a good math student? Yes. Yeah. Are you? Let's see. What's your strength in school? Huh? Science? Yeah. Good science, right? What's your strength? Take class. Here you go, man. Thank you, honey. Thank you. Ooh, yeah. In particular, computer science for grades K through 12. That's so important now, right? It's a whole new world. You got to know how to use those computers. Currently, more than half of high schools do not offer computer programming, and nearly 40 percent do not offer physics. Now, do you have computer programming in your schools? All yes. Of them? How about you? Do you have them in your schools? Yeah. All computer? You're all pretty good with the computers? Yes. Well, it's important nowadays. Greater access to STEM and computer science programs will ensure that our children can develop the skills they need to compete and to win in the workforce of tomorrow. Who likes to win? <laughs> Anybody like to lose? I don't think so. Oh, that's a uh, little wise guy. Right there. Better STEM education also means higher paying jobs for American workers and families. You get out of school, you get great, really great jobs, high paying jobs. And we're doing very well with the employment roles today. You get really good jobs. And we want our amazing young Americans to fill these jobs, earn a great living, lift up their communities, and achieve their American dreams. The directives I am sharing today with Secretary DeVos at the helm to make STEM education, including computer science, a priority for the Department of Education. Is that right, Betsy? It's going to be a big, a big thing what you, that you're doing. Absolutely. And that's working out well? Absolutely. You're moving on it incredibly. The Department will explore ways to add or increase computer science to existing K-12 and K-12 through and post-secondary education programs. It also establishes a goal of devoting at least 200 — listen to this number — $200 million each year in grants toward funding this priority. So that's $200 million a year. Does that sound like big bucks? Yes. yes. What do you guys think? Peanuts. It's peanuts, right? <laughs> You're going to say, give us more, right? <laughs> we got to get more. But now, $200 million each year in grants, and that's toward funding this very, very important priority. So with today's action, we will help give our American children a pathway to success in the workforce of tomorrow. Thank you, and God bless you all. And I really appreciate your being in the White House. And uh, I know you're going to take a little tour in a little while, but we start right here in the Oval Office. But it's an honor to have all of you. And someday, you'll be great students, and you'll be the leaders of the world the United States and the world, right? Yes. Would any of our uh, representatives — maybe I'll start with Betsy. Would you like to say something? Betsy DeVos, everybody. Well, Mr. President, thank you for your support of uh, STEM initiatives, and especially to the students who are here today. Thank you for your commitment to your own futures. And with this initiative, we hope and trust that you're going to have more opportunities to 
pursue the things that are most interesting to you and that will afford you the greatest opportunities for your future and collectively for our future. So thank you so much, Mr. President, and for all of the students, good luck and all the best in your studies. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank thank you. you. Yeah. And the Secretary has been working really hard to get this done. This is just one of many things, but you've been working very hard. And Alex, would you say a few things? Uh, Secretary Alex Acosta. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, as the father of two young girls, I know firsthand how important it is to start early. And what's so exciting about this initiative, from my perspective, is all the young kids that are going to be exposed to, to computer science and to coding and to STEM. Because if you start early, it's transformative, and especially for young girls. Um, I see it at home. It's so important. I'm excited to see all of you here. So, you know, it's, it's wonderful you're here. And, Mr. President, thank you for doing this for well, all Thank you very much. Thank you, Alex. Great job. Uh, Bradley? Mr. President, I'm from Alabama. We started the Alabama Math Science Technology <coughs> Initiative almost 20 years ago. And we thought it was the thing of the future. Well, it's the thing of the present. And your signing this today means a lot to young people and educators all over America. Thank you for doing this. Well, thank you. And Alabama is a great state. We love Alabama. Susan Brooks. Thank you, Mr. President. Hello, kids. I'm from Indiana. I was in a fourth grade class last week in Carmel, Indiana, Mrs. McKay's class in Town Meadow Elementary. And they are using computers all day long, doing virtual field trips, learning instantly, and the teacher knows where their problems are right away. And just so you know, the jobs of the future um, we don't even know what they all are. And so because of technology and because of this funding, computer science in class, you're going to be ready. So thank you, Mr. President. Thank you very much, Susan. These are all very powerful people that are speaking, <laughs> just so you know, okay? Uh, Lamar Smith. Uh, Mr. President, thank you. I'm chairman of the Science Committee in the House, and I just want to thank the President for giving a priority to STEM education and in, to computer science in particular. In the last Congress, I um, introduced a bill that became law to expand the definition of STEM to include computer science. So I'm especially grateful to the President uh, for emphasizing that. And Mr. President, good to be here. Thanks, Lamar. Thank you. Appreciate it. Virginia? Well, as Chairwoman of the Education and Workforce Committee, Mr. Speaker, uh, Mr. President. <laughs> I'll, take, I'll take Speaker, too. <laughs> Get things done. Uh, the, uh, uh, we are so proud of you for doing this. We know we have uh, 5.6 million jobs available right now to our workforce, and many of them are unfilled because our uh, employees do not have the skills they need. So it's wonderful to see us encouraging these young people to begin early to be involved in these subject matters, and we need to spread this idea throughout our culture for people of all ages, but we particularly, as others have said, want to get the young people engaged, involved, and excited about all of these subjects. Thank you very much. Appreciate Thank you. it. Uh, Mimi, where, is, where are you? I'm right here, uh, Mr. Mr. President. Um, I'm Mimi Walters from California, and want to thank you very much for for signing this legislation today. Um, I'm a mom of four kids, and STEM is very exciting. Um, when I was in high school, computers were just getting into school. So we've come a long way, and um, it's, it's very exciting to see so many young kids here that are interested in STEM. So thank you very much for thank signing this today. Thank you very much, and you've done a great job, and we appreciate it. You've all done a great job, and it's something very special. My daughter's here. Should we hear from Ivanka? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah. Yes, I think so, right? Ivanka, come First on. of all, thank you all for being here. You are the future of innovators and entrepreneurs and engineers and programmers in this country. So it's so exciting to see your enthusiasm. But today represents a giant leap forward as we think about aligning the skills that are taught in the classroom with the skills that are in demand in the modern economy. So we're very excited about today's announcement and towards really focusing on the goal of, of putting Americans to work and making sure that all Americans get great paying jobs. So thank you all for being here and I look forward to watching you all go on to accomplish many amazing and extraordinary things. Mm -hmm. thank, thank you. you. So, so education, you. thanks, Ivanka. And thank you. Education is just so important at every level, whether it's this or whatever you study. And always remember this, do what you love, study what you love. Uh, your parents may want you to do something, and you should always listen to your parents, but try to focus on the things that you love, whether it's in studies or when you get out of school. Do what you love, and you're going to be successful. 
work hard, all of those things. But you have to follow your heart to a certain extent, and maybe even to a large extent. So when you get out there, make sure that you're — you know, it's very interesting. I say this a lot, do what you love, but then it's not work. Because if you love it, it's not working. It's like a pleasure. Mm -hmm. So always follow your hearts, and you're going to be tremendously successful people, and you're going to remember this day because it's a special place. You're in a special place, and very few get to come and see this. But I wanted you to see it today. It is a very, very uh, special area of the world. It all happens here, and you're here today. And it's my honor to have you. So go out there, work really hard, and do really well. Okay? And yes. I'll see you soon. Thank we'll you. see you soon. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you. you. Sign. Question is, who gets the pen? <laughs> Who's going to get this pen? Huh? <laughs> I have a feeling. I have a feeling. Right? We'll get you another one. Okay. <laughs> you know, get me some additional pens. And what we're going to do is we're going to give them out to the students. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that's because cool. you'll be the one signing this in the future. Yeah. You know, the future generation. All right. So if you could get me some additional pens. Thank you. Okay, we'll send them the good ones. Not the, <laughs> not the bad ones, the good ones, like this. So we're going to give this to a very special woman who's worked so hard on this. And I think that's — are you ready for it? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Exactly. Thank you. I think we're going to put you in. It'll get done, right? If you do the health care, it'll get done. Okay, everybody. This is very important. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.